Hi everyone, welcome to part six in the series of building the GT40 replica from our GT um, laser cut tube flat pack, which you'll find on our website www.gtforte.co.uk. Uh, so I wanted to do this next bit on building the engine bay. Um, as you can see on one side of it, I've assembled it, mopped it up. And I just wanted to do that to show the uh, jigging arrangement that I would recommend you use. Um, I don't have to do it like this because my jig would allow me to do it on, on a flatbed. But this is probably the way that most home builders um, would do it and, uh, and achieve good results. So as you can see, I've, slid, I've clamped this tube across so that we've got something to sit the tubes on so that we know that they're level. Uh, and I've also put this tube on here uh, to give us a way of just supporting uh, the tubes at the back so I can clamp them in position, check that everything's straight and not unhappy before I tack it up. Um, so I'm just gonna run through what tubes are used by doing the other side and then we'll tack it up and um, concentrate more on the couple of little fiddly things which is putting the um, engine mount plates in um, and preparing ready to put the back of the chassis on and connect it all up. Um, so we need GTS 40 T2 011 012 now this tube is handed so you'll have a 12L and a 12. And you need to make sure that when you put it on, that the cutouts are inboard and pointing down so that they mirror the cutouts that you've got on the lower tube. Again, it sockets into, you've got pegs and sockets to socket into the seat back bulkhead tube we've got pegs and notches for alignment on these tubes so all we need to do is socket them in and when we're happy with the socket it's all socketed together come up with a little jigging arrangement like that to support it then we'll just do a couple of diagonal measurements to make sure this is all square and that we're happy and then we tack it up okay so that's got that clamped up uh, i've done some diagonal measurements uh, checked everything's in alignment that i'm happy with so now i should go around and tack that together um, so that i can remove the clamps and we can put the engine mount plates in
Right, so the next part is to put the engine mount plates in, which slot into the um, holes or the cutouts that were made um, in the top and bottom tubes. So you need to find uh, ones labelled GTS 40 0177. Two of those. And the other hand, or not the other hand, um, you have one 177 each side and one 178 each side. As you can see, they're pretty much the same. They've got very slight different cutouts. And it's the one with the deeper cutouts that goes towards the rear. So they literally slot in like so. Hold them in and lightly tack them. And do the other side. There we go, that's the engine mount plates put in. In a future video, we'll do the details of how the tubes go through the, those plates to actually pick up on the original small block Ford um, engine mount. Um, but for now, we'll put in the um, top posts where the uh, two of the rear radius arm uh, mounts Okay, be. so this is... Um, GTS 40 T2 009 and it's the uh, mount for the rear radius arms or the upper rear radius arms. Uh, it's got a peg on it, it goes into a slot on the T2 011 tube on the top of the engine bay. We literally we socket it in. Now we're going to tack that, and that's that fitted. Simple. I hope you think that this uh, construction is maybe. I uh, hope you don't think I'm making it look easy. I'm not just making it look easy. It, it is pretty easy, as you can see. It's it's a giant jigsaw, and it's quite a lot of fun and quite rewarding when you see it get to this stage quite quickly, and you start to see what it is. Um, in a couple of hours time it will look very imposing it will look like a gt40 chassis you can and it's quite rewarding like i say um they are quite a can't really find the word for it but they're a, dom they are a dominating presence in the workshop um, and you can sort of tell what they are um even early on in the build like this so um hope you enjoy it hope you have a go at building one um so the last part of finishing the engine bay is to uh, really put the back of the chassis on that we made earlier 
as you can see here, I've just sort of thrown it on, uh, clamped it down. Um, I've spent some time just making some measurements from the rear bulkhead here to this face to make sure that we're, it's vertical, make sure it's parallel by measuring off the front face here to the back of the seat base, base bulkhead there. Um, that guarantees that we've got it straight or if it's not perfectly straight we know what we're trying to correct when we put the two um, triangulation bars in here to correct it, uh, to, sorry, to connect it together. We can also correct any slight differences. As you can see, it's a bit wobbly because it's just got the one clamp on it. Um, at the moment, it's within two millimetres. I've also checked some diagonal measurements, this point over to that corner, and I know that I've got the same measurement each side so I can be happy with its position sort of laterally across the car. Um, so now all I'm going to do is tack it to the lower rails and then we'll put these um, T2 tubes in that come up at an angle at the back here, uh, connect it. We'll take some more measurements at that time to make sure that we get it perfectly in alignment. And then essentially that's that part of the chassis done and we can move on uh, to the front, finish the top rails off, start building the dash frame up and assembling that um, that we did in an earlier video. So I'm just going to tack this on now and then we'll get to fitting those other tubes. So with that tacked up, just need to put these last two 40mm uh, square tubes in to connect it to the top rails. So I've got here two millimetres too close on this side than I want. So what I'm going to do I'm going to tack this tube in onto the chassis but not onto this side and tack the other side in as well in the same way and then I'll use its gently push and pull it until it's in and tack it in when I'm perfectly happy with it, it's square. It's only two millimetres out on this side, it's, it's spot on at the moment on the other side. So a little, little tweak and we'll get that perfect. So just tack this one in. I'm perfectly happy with that. Let's come out spot on either side. Right, 
there's two more tubes to put in actually, the triangulation tubes. And I'll just change the position of the camera to get a better look at the same of the work that we've just done, so you can see uh, the overall effect. There we go. That's how those two tubes go in. You see that they're aligned to stay on the 60 mil jet at the top of the back there, not encroach onto that, or past that sort of line behind the plate. 20 mil or so down from the top, and perfect alignment with the inner part, inner part of the engine bay. Right, there's actually two more tubes that go into the engine bay, but I'm thinking I'll leave those for this video um, because it might be worthwhile going through a lot of the triangulation tubes that go in everywhere at the same time. Um, but for now, that's the engine bay and rear structure together. You can see the chassis is really starting to come together now. Um, hoping that you're enjoying following along with it. And if you've got a chassis kit already, hope it's helping you uh, put it together. Um, like the video and um, subscribe to the channel if you don't mind. That way you'd get uh, notifications when I do the next part. And until then, thanks for watching.